All right, so let's see here, hold on. Okay, so this is pre-bug, Zuma pre-bug update right here. Bruce Chapman, he said he wanted a burnout video on his bike, so he's about to get it. Carter's, Carter's the one that's best qualified to do so. Let's roll forward a little bit more. Here, hold on. police officer going the opposite direction but the uh, Milwaukee Police Department they love us and they always wave I'm gonna wave hi he didn't wave today so maybe that guy doesn't like us but anyways uh, if you guys know it's Bruce Chavage pre-bug it's been a challenge uh, a couple little loose ends we got to dial in um, but it's really really close Cardi buses hump and did a really really good job um, get the cooling system in get the radiator in. we're waiting on paint and a stencil for Bruce that's why the radiator looks a little bit unfinished in the front. But once that comes, we'll dial that in. Um, there's one little body panel we're missing as well, so that's coming in. Carter put on the side stand today. It's said and done. There's probably 50, 60, maybe 60 hours of labor or something um, into something like this. So turned out really good. Sounds good. Again, this is a used. This is my used engine that came out of my big Evo bike. Um, but he purchased it used because it was going to be just a little bit more than having one built that was going to be a lot less power so another good thing is my twin started today i'll do another video on that but i was having trouble with spark turns out my uh, flywheel wasn't wasn't um it was shimmed out too much so it wasn't uh working properly so i went ahead and tightened that up and got that adjusted right so waiting for carter to come back hopefully he does he may come from that way um, but i'll do a little walk around the video when it comes back when he when he rolls up here So we're gonna paint this up. Again, we're waiting on a stencil. That's where he does his uh, coolant there. So getting a headlight, trail tech headlight down here as well. Finish buttoning all these panels up because all this has to come back apart to get painted. There's one cover here we need to um, source and this cover, that cover's been on back order for a while so we're still trying to get it. But um, electric water pump, MBT, the Polini Big Evo full ignition, um, or I'm sorry, uh, cylinder pipe and crank, the MBS ported. We're gonna put the BBS center cap on here like he asked for as well. Polini Evo transmission cover, rear disc of course, this is a European Minerali case, uh, Melosi offset adjustable shock as well. And that's, we had to do the 30, the 30, just because of the intake restriction here. So he could change that up and go to a 32 or 35 if he wanted, so. But my headlight count is a connector that starts up with my bike. No, because if that <laughs> off it, because it's hiding it. So that bike's pretty much done, like I said earlier, just a couple small things, but um, that thing's scary. <laughs> pretty scary to ride. Uh, it used to have a 35 on it. We necked it down to a 30 just because of the restrictions with what we had with the intake manifold, spinning it around um, and going backwards. The old MXS intake was going forward and allowed for a 35 millimeter. So that being said, we had to go smaller on the carb, but that's not a big deal. Um, it's still super fast and uh, should be a ton of fun. So thank you, Bruce. 
And again, you guys will probably see a couple more videos of this thing at Barber, because um, that's where it's going. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. One more bike down for the count.